Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to the Acoustic versus Classical series here on Lickin' Riff, in which I provide you an in-depth comparison between the acoustic guitar and the classical guitar, in which I break down the differences in sound, the differences in technique, the differences in approach, and in the previous videos, um, I've discussed the the reasons why the guitars sound so differently and why you should play them differently and the um, upsides and downsides of each one. Um, whereas I don't like the pros and cons approach. I wanna discuss sound. And um, since this is a finger style channel, an acoustic finger style channel, I'm focusing more about uh, more on the classical guitar side of things, and I use the acoustic guitar for a comparison. So um, we've discussed the differences in sound enough. So um, when you want to play rhythm guitar on a classical, um, there are many different ways to go about it. You can use finger style patterns. <laughs> get a great expression out of this, which um, is different than the twangy, um, almost percussive um, nature of the of the acoustic guitar. The acoustic guitar, because of the steel nature of the strings and because of the, uh, the sound of the steel, you get a percussive uh, effect no matter what you do. You don't even have to slap. While on, uh, whereas on the classical guitar, it's more of a, um, of a pure guitar sound uh, more than anything. It's less twangy, it's a lot more um, expressive. You can hear the, you can hear each string, you can each string separately, okay? And you can create uh, all sorts of flourishes and embellishments like this one. Uh, I taught you this numerous times uh, where I play all the strings and then I rake the rest of the strings with the last finger and then you can also play a downstroke with the thumb so okay so you get something like this uh, it works better with with chords such as this one okay and just listen to this okay you can make out every note of this this is I'm gonna tell you what the chord is in a second. Then this, okay? This is a more uniform sound. Okay, you can't, the, the, the notes blend together. Okay, it's five and seven on strings three and four. This is A minor add nine, okay? And here, you can practically hear each and every Note, I also added six on the second string. Okay, I'm playing bass chord, bass chord. That's all I'm doing, with the six on the second string and without it, so. Okay, and um, the, the picking pattern, okay, it gives you okay, this. Played on a, an acoustic guitar it would sound nice, but it's still uniform. It's still a smear. It's a smear of sound. It's not. Um, it's not. It's kind of a solo. It's a cascading uh, sequence of notes. Whereas on a classic, on a, on a, on the acoustic guitar, it's a smear of sound moving in space, but it's not single notes. 
that's the main point that, that I, I want to make clear in your minds and ears um, with this series, that you should take advantage of this feature. This is how you play the classical guitar, as a set of separate notes, not, not as, a, not as a, a, a uniform sound as you would an acoustic guitar. The acoustic guitar is a block of harmony. The classical guitar is a world of cascading notes that attack you from all directions. So um, that's fingerstyle, okay? So okay, and even this, okay? I played the chord, bass chord, bass chord, nothing fancy, but with A and E. If I were to play the same thing on the acoustic guitar, okay, it's muddy, it's dirty. I'm gonna have to mute the bass strings before I play the next one, so I'm gonna have to use an extra technique. But here, okay, all the notes work separately. They work very, very well together. So, uh, because each note, each string, is in its own sonic world, so um, so I don't really have to do anything other than just pick the strings. Now, um, obviously, when we think classical guitar rhythm patterns, we immediately think flamenco, right? Okay, so uh, you have the triplet feel, okay, where you uh, strum downwards, but you hit the strings with your fingers and then with your thumb. So you have two hits. Okay. Can, can you hear it? Ta -da. Okay. And then upwards with your thumb. Okay. So you have. Ta -da -da -da. Okay. I add an extra strum. Okay. A down strum. Okay. It's a triplet and then an extra down strum. Okay. Now, if you do the same thing on an acoustic. Okay, it sounds dirty. It sounds uh, it sounds steely. It sounds dirty. It sounds way way too aggressive, and the dirty steel sound um, kind of masks everything else. You the chord takes um, takes a step back. You hear the steel sound, and you hear the chord in the background. Whereas here, okay, you hear the chord. Okay, no matter. I'm gonna move away from the microphone. Okay, even if. Okay, then. okay, no matter how uh, strong I hit the strings, okay, you're gonna hear the chord and you're gonna hear it differently. You're gonna hear it uh, in a different expression. Okay, you're gonna hear that flamenco sound. So you can actually produce this sound with any classical guitar. Um, it's, it's always funny to me that um, flamenco guitars and gypsy guitars are, are being sold for thousands of dollars, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars, whereas the original flamenco guitar players and the original gypsy guitar players played cheap guitars. And those guitars, the, the, the ultra expensive guitars, the flamenco guitars and the gypsy guitars are always designed to sound like a cheap guitar. They're designed to give you that thin, cheap sound where uh, you, can, you can just take any classical guitar and produce a flamenco sound. Um, if there is a trick, you can take a pick and you can play next to the bridge and you get a thin sound. Okay, which is the same sound that you get when you play using your fingernails and you play really, really quickly. So, okay, if you play next to the sound hole, you get that classical sound. If you play uh, next to the bridge, okay, you get, okay, with force, you need, okay, you get that flamenco sound. So you can get it from, you can get it out of any classical guitar. It's not the same thing with the acoustic guitar um, because, okay, you get, you, you get that, um, you get that steel sound no matter what you do. Okay, and next to the bridge just sounds awful. So um, that's another difference in sound. Uh, you, you can change where you play. Now, um, when you attack the strength, okay, uh, you get you get that uh, you get that 
strong bass sound. And here's my personal favorite difference between classical guitars and acoustic guitars. Um, if you let's let's play the acoustic guitar first. If you try to play power chords. <laughs> You know, you know what's coming, right? If you play power chords on a classical, it sounds amazing. Yeah, because the, the it's almost a distortion, right? Because the the nylon is so expressive and it's so flexible and it's so it's such an amazing tool and such an amazing strength. Okay? That you actually sound better playing uh, heavy metal on a classical than you do on an acoustic. And I'm an acoustic player <laughs> and, and I, I love the acoustic guitar. And you know what I can do with an acoustic guitar, but the classical guitar is such a versatile instrument. Um, okay, so even if, even, if you just, uh, even if you just strum it, It almost sounds gypsy if you do it like that. Uh, whereas on the acoustic guitar, everything sounds acoustic. Which is great. It's great. Uh, it's terrific. It's a terrific sound. Don't get me wrong. I love this sound. It's just a block of sound. That's, that's all I'm trying to tell you. You can get terrific blocks of sounds from the acoustic guitar, whereas on a classical guitar, the chords can talk a little bit more than they can on an acoustic. Okay, now, you can also vibrate a whole, a whole chord, but that's easier on, a, on an acoustic because you can, okay, you can vibrate the strings themselves and not just, if you move your hand, nothing happens. Okay, you need, you need to really, really move the, the, the chord around. Whereas here, here it sounds more like an effect. It sounds like a, like a, like a, like, like an effect. Um, so um, that's the differences when playing rhythm. Now, uh, on the next video, we're going to talk more about soloing and uh, the, the things that you can and can't get from each guitar. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.